Hello and welcome to this next part of microprocessor series. In this video, we are going to discuss instruction timing and execution. So first of all, you should know what is an instruction. I have told this many times. Instruction is a command which is given to the computer to make the computer operate in the specified way on a specified data. So I can choose my data, I can choose my command and according to that the computer will behave. So So now I can choose my data according to my provided data and according to the specific operation which I have provided the computer would operate. So instruction is a command that is given to the computer to perform specific operation on the data provided. Now what is a program? Program is a sequence of instruction to perform a specific task. I hope now you understand when some series of instructions combine it will form a program. So now program is a sequence of instruction to perform a user specified task. Now where the data and instructions are stored, these are stored in memory. So now the CPU, CPU is the main brain of the computer. So CPU is executing the instruction one after the another. So how it is executing the instruction, it fetches the instruction. So it is fetching the instruction from the memory and executing it one after the another. So CPU is the main thing which is executing and fetching the instruction. So we should know about the instruction cycle. So instruction cycle is... So instruction cycle is the necessary steps taken by the microprocessor to execute any instruction. So now from here I know CPU is executing the instruction, it is fetching and, and after that it is executing the instruction. So instruction cycle is all the necessary steps which is taken by the microprocessor or I can say inside microprocessor CPU is executing any instruction. So the necessary steps are called the instruction cycle. So now I can divide my instruction cycle into two parts. So first is fetch cycle and second is execute cycle. So if I have to make you visualize it. So this is fetch cycle, this is execute cycle. If I combine both I'll call it as instruction cycle. So now from here I know the instruction cycle is, com is a combination of fetch cycle and execute cycle. So first we'll talk about the fetch cycle. So fetch cycle is the very first cycle of any program execution. So what is happening in the fetch cycle, the opcode is taken from the memory in, in the microprocessor. So opcode is present in the program counter. With the help of data bus, the opcode is fetched to the microprocessor. So the opcode is present in the program counter. Actually, the opcode itself is not present in the program counter. The address of the opcode is present in the program counter. So here, so in program counter, address of opcode is present. The ad, from the address of opcode, the opcode is taken and with the help of data bus, the opcode is sent to the microprocessor or the CPU. So now the microprocessor knows what it has to do. Opcode tells the microprocessor the operation which the user wants it to do. So now the microprocessor knows what it has to do. So this thing takes three clock cycles. So now after this I have execute cycle. 
सो नाउ आई टोल्ड यू आई हैव वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन टू बाइट थ्री बाइट वन बाइट सो नाउ फर्स्ट बाइट कंटेन्स द ऑप कोड सो ऑप कोड इज द डिकोडेड वर्जन ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन सो वॉट द यूजर वॉन्ट्स टू डू इज प्रेजेंट इन द ऑप कोड ओनली सो नाउ ऑप कोड इज सेंड टू द इंस्ट्रक्शन रजिस्टर इन द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर नाउ इट इज गोइंग टू द इंस्ट्रक्शन रजिस्टर सो नाउ इंस्ट्रक्शन डिकोडिंग एंड एग्जीक्यूशन इज हैपनिंग इन वन क्लॉक साइकिल so now i told you about opcode fetch or in opcode fetch what is happening the opcode is fetched from the memory so now the opcode is the address of the opcode is present in the program counter which is fetched from the memory and now the next thing is execute in execution what we can do we can either read the data or write the data so either we can read the data from memory or i can write the data to the memory so these two operations are happening so now so now t state is the part of operation performed in one clock cycle so i can divide my operations into various clock cycles and the part of operation which is performed in one clock cycle is the t state so now i hope you understand about t state also so now machine cycle is machine cycle we call instruction cycle only machine cycle so in machine cycle what we can have we can have reading writing acknowledgement with the peripherals so the peripherals are memory and input output obviously so now coming to the next thing so now machine cycle is consisting of 3 to 6 t states so if i am saying op code read op so if i am saying memory read memory write so it is a machine cycle so if i am combining mach uh, each machine cycles that is execution cycle and fetch cycle then i'll combined i'll say it as instruction cycle so now i'll discuss various types of machine cycles so we have various types of machine cycles like so now i already told you about input output pin and s1 s not pin in the case of various machine cycles like opcode fetch memory read memory write input output read and input output write so when i talk about opcode fetch in opcode fetch the input output or memory pin remains active low and s1 s not both pins are high in memory read because it is reading from memory and memory is the active low so i'll supply it with zero so that this is active low which means it is taking the data from the memory so now s1 and s0 for read operation it is 10 so wherever it is read so here also read s1 s0 would be 10 here it is reading from input output so input output is active high so i'll supply 1 so now memory write so for memory i'll supply 0 for write operation i'll supply 0 1 for input output write i'll supply for input output 1 and for write 0 1 so now i hope you understand various types of machine cycles and input output s1 and s0 pins in case of various machine cycles so so if i talk about t states opcode fetch requires 4 t states memory read requires 3 t states memory write also requires 3 t states as well as input output read and input output write requires 3 t states 